political violence. News of a very different kind comes from Unigar, capital of the state of Unigar, on the southern coast of the peninsula of Katyava. Here, the wedding of the Nawab's heir apparent was recently the occasion for typically spectacular rejoicing and festivity. Escorted by state cavalry and followed by many distinguished guests, the bridegroom headed the ceremonial drive from the palace. Unigar is a small state, but as you see, it was able to produce a suitable number of wedding presents which were paraded through the streets. And after the wedding ceremony, which was brief, and I'm afraid doesn't permit even a glimpse of the bride, the bridegroom received the wedding gifts. Later, the guests who included the Jam Saib of Nawanaga were entertained with music and singing and dancing. The ceremonies attaching to the wedding of an Indian prince were evidently carried out in full accordance with tradition. Certainly, this was an occasion in no way marred by austerity, 